Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial um, is going to be a little bit different from others that I have posted um, just because in this tutorial I am actually letting it play out in real time. Nothing is sped up, so this is how long it took. I did my eyebrows already off camera. I have a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows if you are interested. Um, but as you can see by the title, um, this is a back to school look. I just so happen to actually be going back to school. Um, I'm going back to grad school. So I do work full time and I will be going to class in the evening. So for this particular look, um, it's a full face highlight contour. Um, you know, if, if that's not what you want to do, then by all means you can adjust the look. But this is the look that I'm going for. And I wanted for this particular routine to be something that lasts all day long. <laughs> um, I get up for work. I'm up by 6 a.m. getting ready and my class isn't starting until a little after 6 p.m. So I'm going for like a 15 hour wear with this particular look. So um, you'll see later on that I'm using some new setting sprays that I got and I wanted to see how those would work. So for the eyes, I am using my Nubian 2 palette. You guys may be sick of this palette, but I am not. <laughs> That's why I keep using it. Um, I love this product. I love this palette. The colors are fabulous. The pigmentation is the bomb. And it lasts. Um, when the video first started, I had already primed my eyelids, but I set it with translucent powder. That helps um, to prolong the eyeshadow and help it not to crease throughout the day. These palettes by Juvia's Place, these eyeshadows are so pigmented and they stay for hours. So that's another reason why I find myself frequently using these palettes because they're just the bomb. So um, I have the different colors posted as I use them. This particular shade that I'm putting on my eyelids is from the Nubian One palette and those eyeshadow colors are not labeled. Um, so this one doesn't have a name, but it's just a beautiful, it's almost like, I don't even know, I don't even know what shade to call it because it almost has like metallic shimmers in it to where it, it kind of reflects the color that I already have on my eyes. So it's, it's really pretty. I guess it's more of like a cream, a shimmery cream color. I don't know guys, but it's cute. <laughs> um, I'm going to try not to talk through the whole video. Because it is a little long. Um, if you guys have questions, you can definitely feel free to leave them below. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and do my eyes. Kind of similar to what I do. Um, I'm using a darker shade in the crease. Something light on the eyelids. Blending it all together. So when I finish the eye look, I'll be back. Enjoy. As I fell asleep Cause they fill the open air And leave teardrops everywhere You'd think me rude But I would just stand and stare Leave your head here to your least end No, leave your head here to your least end No, leave your head here to your least end No, leave your head here to your least end No, no, no Just 
guys so i'm back going in with my elf daily moisture stick moisture <laughs> i don't know why i can never say this my elf daily moisture stick to moisturize my face good grief and i use it every day you would think i could say it but anywho going in next with my nyx tea tree skin elixir again just to moisturize my face um they call it a primer I don't even honestly know if it's doing anything for my skin, but I like it. <laughs> I feel like it's doing something for my skin, so I use it. That little bottle is 17 bucks though, so that's why I only use a little bit of it. Next, I'm going in with my Baby Skin Pore Filler, um, where my pores are larger. So this product right here, Scandinavia um, Primer Spray. This is something I recently purchased. They were having a sale. I believe it was like 20% off. And it came with a free mini um, primer and finishing spray. So I went ahead and bought the full size primer spray. So that's me priming my face, spraying it all over. Because again, I wanted to make sure that my makeup was going to last all day long without me really having to do much to touch it up during the day. So. I always use a finishing spray at the end, but I had never used a primer spray. So I said, let me get the primer spray. And I knew I was going to get a free finishing spray. So I figured if I like the finishing spray, I'll go back and purchase that later. So I just fanned that in so that it, was, it would absorb into my skin. And I'm priming my under eye with my e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep doing my face per usual. If you guys are familiar with my channel, um, this is a... Uh, me routine i always do this i highlight first i'm using my black opal concealer stick and toast i'm going to use my fingers to blend it out once i finish my um highlighting i'm going to go in with um a foundation that my mother-in-law actually um gave to me because she had a couple in this shade i first saw it used by peak mill if you guys don't follow peak mill she's fabulous um, she used to use Revlon all the time and then she switched and I was watching the tutorial and I was like, that foundation looks flawless. And I was like, hmm. So come to find out my mother-in-law uses Clinique and she had, the, the color was clove. So she had a couple of them. She had just bought a new one and she had one that she already used. So she was like, here, you can have it. So I've been using it and I really, really like it. Um, I feel like it's more full coverage. Um than what I'm used to. So a little a little bit goes a long way, but it's there. Um, I believe it's called Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. So it's like a two in one. There it is right there. That's the shade Clove. Um, I believe that's the darkest shade they have, um, but that's the shade that I'm using. So it appears like a little dark at first, but I just love like once it oxidizes, it oxidizes how it blends and really contrasts from um, the highlight area. My skin naturally is already like kind of highlighted and contour because I kind of have hyperpigmentation or just darker that my cheekbones are just like darker than the rest of my face. 
Um, so even when I don't like highlight and contour, my face already looks like I did. So I feel like this particular foundation just really, I don't know. I just like it. You guys can let me know what you think down below, but I've been loving it. And again, it's more full coverage, but a little bit goes a long way. Like it literally feels like skin. I feel like my, my skin can still breathe. Um, so I really like it. It's a little bit more expensive than the foundations that I currently um, already had. I believe it retails for about 28 bucks. So for me, that's a little pricey. Um, but you know, everything can't be a, a drugstore product. So <laughs> sometimes you got to spend a little more. Um, and the primer spray I used, um, I'm pretty sure that was retailing for $28 as well. And again, you know, it's 20% off and then the, the free trial sizes. So I figured it was worth the splurge. <laughs> 28 bucks is a splurge for me, guys. So I'm just blending that all in, going in with my contour stick, black opals, concealer, and dark. Putting in my cheekbones, my nose, my chin. And I'm just popping it right in the middle of my cupid's bow. It's going to just make my cupid's bow pop that much more. I'm using that e.l.f. contour brush. It's the one with the curve. They have one that's straight across. I have that one as well. But this one has like a little C dip in it. And I love it because it gets right in the hollows of your cheek. And those like jawline everywhere. It's, it's bomb. I think it's like six bucks. So definitely recommend this brush for contouring. So the rest of what I'm doing, guys, is it's pretty much the same. Blending is key. Um, Again, I, I've said this before in previous videos. When I first learned how to highlight and contour, it was using cream products. So for me, cream is easy. Of course, powder is like that much faster. It's not as much blending. But again, like I said, I want this to last all day. So I feel like for lasting power, creams... A cream highlight and contour is better than just a powder. It's going to last longer. So that's why I'm doing it. And I am setting my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup. I recently got this. This was another splurge product for me because it's $20. When I tell you guys, it took me like probably like at least six, seven months to convince myself to spend the $20 and get it because I was like, I don't even highlight that much. My black radiance is working. That's like $5. Do I really need a $20 set in powder? Like, is it really that serious? I don't even bake because I have combination dry skin. So I'm not trying to have my skin peeling. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Um, It's worth it. <laughs> it was worth it for me. I have golden yellow undertones underneath my eyes, which is where I highlight. And I always found... I always felt like when I was setting my highlight areas, it was muting it. And I already don't like a super bright highlight, but I still felt like my current powders that I was using was just, they didn't have that yellow undertone that I was looking for. Um, I didn't buy the banana powder because I just felt like that was way too yellow. So I was like, you know what? Get the Sasha Buttercup. I watched a million reviews and YouTube videos about it. I ordered it off of Amazon. I have Prime, so I got it in two days. And when I tell you guys I have been loving this product, I love it. It is super, super, duper finely milled, so it is easy to make a mess. So be careful so you don't waste products. But I love it. I'm glad I have it. If you haven't purchased it, I would seriously consider it. It is flash friendly for women of color. Um, and it's just bomb. So enough about Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to set my contour with my BH contour palette. And I'm going to go in. I forgot what was next. I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance contour palette. This is in the shade medium to dark. And just blend that highlight into the contour a bit more. Deepen the contour. And then I'm going to go in with that highlighter as well. Something I didn't realize until after I was watching the video, um, I actually forget to powder my face at the end, um, but it's all good. 
Um, this routine, I will just say this here, this routine did get me through the entire day. I I was, I started my face at, um, like 6.30 because I left my house at 7. Around 5 o'clock, I powdered, I powdered, I redid just my, my contour a little bit and highlight. I set my face again, not with the Scandinavia spray though. I set my face with just my e.l.f. spray just to freshen it back up. And then I was good until 10 o'clock that night. So this routine did work for me. Um, so hopefully if you guys try it out, um, it will work for you. You do not have to use the exact same products or the exact same setting sprays that I use. I just wanted to try them out and they did end up working for me. So I was quite pleased. Um, again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. My camera did cut off, so I apologize. Um, it's about to cut off, and then I'm going to start actually talking, not doing a voiceover. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, until next time, guys, be blessed. Bye. Hey, guys. Sorry. So the end of the video got cut off, but I just finished highlighting my face, put on two coats of my Colossal Maybelline. And on the lips, I have lipsticks already. I'm gonna go on with my e.l.f. Lip stain and grapefruit. Or lip gloss pot. It's a dollar. I love it. My LA Colors, LA Girl. I'll have it in the description box. <laughs> lip gloss and coral crush. And that is the finished look, guys. All right, so I started this at about quarter after six. Let's see if this face, this method, the set and spray, if everything all together helps me get a long lasting wear. Going for at least 12 plus hours, 16 preferably. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. Until next time, be blessed. Bye.